California housing market has shown signs of a slowdown in July, but did that trend continue in August? What is the housing outlook as we head into off-season? In this video, we will analyze the August home sales data released by the California Association of Realtors to understand the current housing market. Hello, I'm Becky Park, a real estate broker here in Southern California. Every month, I put out videos and housing data to help my clients and viewers understand the current real estate market. California Association of Realtors has released the August home sales and price report. The existing single-family home sales decreased, but the median home price hit a record high. Let's look at the latest stats and data in detail. During the month of August, there were 414,860 single-family detached homes sold in California. This was 14,120 fewer than in July. But the median price increased to a record high of $827,940. Unsold inventory, which tracks the time it would take to deplete the current housing inventory, remained at 1.9 months and the median number of days it took to sell increased slightly to nine. Price per square foot was $395. Sales to list price ratio was 102.8%, indicating that most properties still sold above the asking price. The housing affordability index for the second quarter of 2021 was 23%. Only 23% of households in California can afford to purchase a median-priced home. The average mortgage rate for a 30-year fixed loan decreased yet again to 2.84%. A similar trend was seen in Los Angeles County data. The median home price rose to $830,070, a 2.5% increase from a month ago and a 19.8% increase from a year ago. In the city of Torrance, the median price of a single-family detached home also increased to $1.09 million. There were 72 homes that sold and 41 active listings. The median days on market was 8. Sales to list price ratio was 106.3%. Once again, most homes sold for over the asking price. In the city of Rancho Palos Verdes, the median price was $1.72 million, up 14.9% from a year ago. Median days on market was 7. Sales to list price was 102.4%. California housing market is showing signs of a slowdown with number of sales declining for the past several months. But as you can see from the chart which shows data since January of 2005, the sales volume is still elevated. Medium home price is at an all-time peak, subsequently leading to a record high price per square foot. The catalyst that is fueling home price appreciation is lack of inventory due to low interest rates. With average mortgage rates for a 30-year fixed loan below 3%, buyers have more buying power. Buyers can take on a larger mortgage for the same amount of payment. The same low mortgage rates have also enabled homeowners to refinance and lower their monthly payments drastically. Homeowners who are thinking of selling or downsizing can afford to stay in their homes, thus restricting the housing inventory, as you can see from this chart. This one compares inventory levels month to month during the past four years with the light blue bar showing inventory level for this year. The inventory levels are not even at half the pre-pandemic years. Low inventory of houses for sale and high demand to buy due to low interest rates result in a continual competition to purchase a home. There were long lines of people at several properties I showed this past week. I'm sure these properties will receive multiple offers and sell way above the asking price. Homes are selling faster than before, as you can see from this historic chart of days on market. And 67% of homes sold did sell for more than the asking price. 
sales continued to outpace new listings, further reducing inventory. What can we expect of the housing market in the next few months? With the holiday season approaching, not many homeowners would want to show and move during this time, and we can expect to see less properties coming on market, further restricting inventory. With sunsetting of eviction moratorium at the end of this month, there may be some landlords who are burned by unpaying renters who may want to sell and get out of the rental business. However, it may be several months before we see any of these properties hit the market as it will take the courts a couple of months to evict. Also, there are plenty of investors who are willing to purchase these property at a slight discount even with the unpaying tenants in them. Buyer demand is still strong, and the inventory is tight. The housing market will still be a seller's market for the time being. I hope the information provided was helpful to you, and should you need a trusted professional for your real estate needs, reach out to me. My contact information is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll return with more real estate videos next time.